Hey there, Papri people. It is me, Jason, your favorite thickest registered polysomnographic technologist. Let's have a quick keeping it real moment before we get on with the rest of the video. The mission statement, God, I hate that word, of this channel is and always will be for you guys to get the best source of unbiased information. And if there is a bias in there, I'm going to be sure to tell you guys about it. That's what I'm trying to do with this channel. I'm also trying to make this free for you. Everything is free. This video is going to have some upper level information in it. It may sound stupid to you, but this is pure gold. And I don't mean to sound arrogant when I say that, but this stuff is pure gold right here. Now in saying that, I'm going to have a lot of links in the description box down below, as well as an advertisement for a huge supporter of this channel. Just do me a favor, take a look at the links. That's all I'm asking. This channel has you in mind. Not everyone has a ton of money and I want this to be accessible to everyone. Hopefully you guys are picking up what I'm laying down. All right, on with the video. Guess what guys? Stop looking at your Dream Mapper app. Stop looking at your My Air app. They're worthless. They have zero value for you. There is nothing in there that's going to improve your sleep. There are things designed to make you feel like your machine is much more advanced. It, ooh, it talks to your phone. <laughs> wow. And it gives you absolutely no information. Let's stop using them and I'm gonna tell you why right now. JTemp Video says, honestly, I don't feel any better using a CPAP. I still feel terrible in the morning, but I do know that I would feel worse if I don't wear it. I believe the CPAP is doing its job. I believe my terrible sleep is related, related to other issues, mainly back, poor diet, and bad sleep habits. I also know that I don't snore if I wear it. When I did a home study, my pulse oximetry was dropping to the 80s and waking me up without CPAP. So I do know I need to wear it. I do kind of wish the oxygen sensors were cheaper so you could just check. So Space Dweller comes in, asks a question I was going to ask. Are you checking your machine for mouth leaking? The reason this is brought up so much is that if your mouth leaking is occurring, you're not getting any benefit to your airway. Just blowing back out your mouth. This is overlooked for a huge number of CPAP patients, 100%. When I'm doing my PAP therapy analysis with people, this is one of the plugs I mentioned, through AXG Sleep Diagnostics, I give you one-on-one -on -one attention. I look at your, your Oscar reports, as I'm gonna do here in a minute, and I show you exactly what to look for with regards to leak. So he says, how's your leaking? And J10 videos, we're not making fun of J10 videos. This is something a lot of people do. Yeah, my mask seal is always green, good in the morning. That is a My Air app thing. You get the big green smiley face, or you get the big red frowny face. That just pains my soul. And it's always good. It's always around a leak of 21 liters per minute. I honestly think my main problem is my back pain. I think it's waking me up and I think it's disrupting my sleep. Now I have a response here, but that's what this video is all about. This is a video response to that. Now someone's gonna yelp if I don't actually show uh, my air or dream mapper. So here it is, feast your eyes on this, even though it's worthless. This is a side-by-side -side of the dashboard and history screens on the my air app. On the right hand side is history. You can see all it shows you is the hours of use per night. Not real helpful, you can use a clock. On the left you have the dashboard. It just tells you things that are largely, again, useless. Hours of use. Did you adjust your mask? Tells you nothing. The events per hour tells you nothing. I have several videos that show the machine calls events events that are actually not events. The number of times a mask went on and off tells you absolutely nothing. And then a My Air score. Dream Mapper has the same thing. The number is meaningless. It, it tells you nothing of what occurred during the night. It's just a weird report. The one thing that these apps are is dumbed down and easily digestible. Many people have scores of 100 yet still feel like garbage in the morning. These have no value. Here's the number one thing you got to do. Ignore My Air, ignore Dream Mapper. They're worthless. Go download Oscar, and this is where you do it. You go to sleepfiles.com forward slash Oscar, and whatever machine you got, select it. It's a super quick download process. You have to have an SD card that's been in your PAP device, or there's gonna be no meaningful information on this. So if you've only inserted this and had it inserted for like five nights, you're only gonna have five nights of useful data. Now let's take a look at the data. Now, while we're waiting for this to download, it's already downloaded. Let's take a quick look at the sponsor of this video, cpapsupplies.com. Check this out. They have constant coupons on their website. As of today, April 1st, you get 35% off your CPAP supplies. 
That's ridiculous. But you wanna know what else is ridiculous? They will qualify you through your insurance. Many people, when you're using an online CPAP supplier or, or sleep apnea treatment equipment, so masks, machines, any type of accessories, you usually have to pay cash. These guys actually will accept insurance. So check this out. Insurance covered CPAP powered by Aeroflow. Just send them their email. You can call them, have your insurance card ready. They will get all of your stuff covered through your insurance plan. How sweet is that? Now, if you're like, but Jocelyn, Jocelyn, school smart Jocelyn, I don't have insurance. No sweat. We got you covered. You just go in here, you buy whatever you're looking for. This is actually one of the masks I use all the time. It's one of my personal favorites. I actually use the Air Touch version. I put this stuff in my cart. Simple, right? I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my cart. Now I'm going to view my cart, apply discount code, lefty20, apply, and look at this. They actually applied, even though it's supposed to be a 20% discount, it's much higher. They actually honored the 35% discount. How sweet is that? How honorable is that in this world of charlatans? Before you purchase from any other online site, do me a favor, check out cpapsupplies.com. They're a huge supporter of this channel. So if you love the content on this channel, do me a favor and help support cpapsupplies.com. Well, look, it appears like it's already downloaded. Now here's where we get into the nitty gritty of this. This is a patient that I had in doing a pap therapy analysis. This is way back in the day. It was a good example to show. Now, if you're looking at my air or dream mapper, it's really just showing you this information in this window. It's really, really worthless. Let's take a look at it. First, we have the AHI 0.69. But is that even an accurate value? This, I don't believe it. It's not accurate. You want me to show you why? Look at this. This is some high level stuff I'm showing you. See that? That's not an obstructive apnea. This person's having an arousal just prior to that. I don't expect you to remember this stuff. But I'm just telling you, that's not an obstructive apnea. Look at this. This person's sleep is disrupted because it's increasing right there. It shouldn't be increasing right there. That is a false positive in terms of obstructive apnea. Now, this guy says his leaking is at 21 liters per minute. Yes, 21 liters per minute, but over what time period? This person here is showing a leak rate of absolutely nothing. There was no leaking the entire night. Well, holy smokes, that never happens. Why is it that when I'm looking in the leak rate right here, the trend throughout the night, why is there a leak right here? And why is there a leak right here? Hmm, what could be happening right there? Let's take a look. We have a little tiny leak spike there. We have a little tiny leak spike there. Now, what's going on in that breathing pattern? That's pretty interesting, isn't it? That's not displayed in a 0.00 leak rate. So when I tell you that this data over here, this generic, all-encompassing, one snapshot of the entire night, it's worthless. We want the video. This is the video, look at this. Now when I say video, I mean, look at this. We can scroll all throughout here and take a look at what's going on. Now this person has a 0 0.69 apnea hypopnea index. That's interesting then why is it that when I scroll through here, I am seeing disruption after disruption that is not being counted in the overall apnea hypopnea index? This is some extremely fragmented sleep. This is not sleep that you would expect to see from an AHI of 0.69. So I go back to the purpose of the video. Stop looking at your Dream Mapper app. Stop looking at your My Air app. I'm gonna say this in the nicest way I know how, but be very direct with it. It's lazy. If you're looking at those, it's very lazy. If you want true, meaningful information, download Oscar, take a look at the data, and if you don't know how to make sense of it, sign up for a consultation with me, axgsleepdiagnostics.com. If that's too spendy for you, I totally understand. I have videos that outlie all of this stuff in other videos. Pull up my channel, pull up my videos, and set it to autoplay. Enjoy, mwah. Pearls of wisdom everywhere. Papper people, if you like this content, check the description box down below for ways that you could help support this channel. And JTemp Vids, I thank you so much for the comment. What a great topic to do a video on. I really do appreciate the comments. Guys, leave comments in the comment section. 
that's what it's for. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Papper people. Take care. Have a great night. Bye. Why does your mask smell like my feet? Pick up some Mask Bright today. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick thanks, buddy, to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Matthew Lilly, Mona Swearingen, Chung Chu Chen, Buddy Doris, Patricia Espalong, Ray Troutman, Sarvesh Joshi, and Stuart Hetherington, as well as a big thank you to all my other Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Little tiny thanks, buddy, for you guys.